Facing not one, but two allegations of bullying. The latest, a senior civil servant claims that Gavin Williamson, when he was Defence Secretary, told them to slit their throat and jump out of a window. As others arrive for Cabinet today, he managed to avoid the cameras. One of his colleagues had this to say. Well, as I say, I don't know the details of um, that. I'll wait for them to investigate it. Are you concerned about those details? The allegations that come out are concerning. Well, as you know, there's a, there's a, a process going on. I'll leave it to them. Today, the former chief whip Wendy Morton referred her complaint about Gavin Williamson to the independent watchdog for parliamentary standards. He had claimed that she had denied him a place at Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Here's one example of the exchange between them. On September the 13th, Gavin Williamson texted, it's very clear how you are going to treat a number of us, which is very stupid, and you are showing expletive all interest in pulling things together. Don't bother asking anything from me. When Wendy Morton replied to say that was not the case and he was not being excluded, he texted, well, let's see how many more times you expletive us all over. There is a price for everything. Gavin Williamson says he regrets the language in the text, but he says he wasn't bullying anyone, and he says there's no formal complaint from his time as Defence Secretary. Labour, though, say he's unfit for office and are trying to draw in the Prime Minister. It's very obvious that Williamson's behaviour previously had not been acceptable for that of a government minister. I think that was widely known, actually, before his appointment, certainly known by the Prime Minister, and yet he decided to actually have him around the Cabinet table. The Prime Minister still has confidence in him, but Gavin Williamson now faces a party inquiry and a parliamentary inquiry. Their findings may settle his fate. Andy Bell, 5 News.